Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning back in to another wonderful tournament we got going on here. We got 2024 Nevada State Disc Golf Championships sponsored by MVP Disc Sports. We're here in Zephyr Cove, Nevada, Lake Tahoe. It's going to be probably my favorite tournament of the year. Three full rounds at Zephyr Cove, the, I believe the number one rated course in Nevada. Uh, whoever wins crowned the victor, the Nevada State Champion. Coming into players, we got Will Lane coming out of Reno, and I think we're gonna have a bunch of local guys on the card, right? That's right. There's Tanner, Nate, and uh, oh yeah, Lance. Lance Hoagland. Who is gonna round out the card? Oh snap, <laughs> Zoolander! <laughs> <laughs> what a mean mug. Oh god. Here we are. Yeah, Nevada State Championships. Good to be here. This is exciting. If you guys didn't know, you got me, Spanky Edwards, and my boy, Dan Turner, coming at you. Welcome back, Dan. What's up, y'all? We back. Let's get right into it. Hole one, 234, right up the gut. Um, great starting hole. I mean, I find it a little challenging when it's, like, fresh out of the car because it is uphill, but um, it's, it's just right there. You know, it's only 234 up the hill, so... Let's get it over the rock and actually it's more of an ace run really for everybody. Yeah, I think so. Will's going right at righty backhand. I'm going to say that's a missed line off to the left. For sure. <laughs> I don't think he was trying to turn something over over there. That is another one missed a little left, but they yeah. both got up there. Those are putts, yeah. Which are putt, which is nice because usually if you miss left, you're hitting that first tree and you are hoping for a par at that point. Got Nate Tallman here. See if he can straighten it out for the boys. Yeah, it's leaking. That should be good. Yeah, a little pulled over, but he's going to be putting downhill at it. He's going to be right about pin high. Lance going to go with the forehand route, which is totally viable here. That's a little cooked. I was wondering if we'd see a righty backhand or a lefty forehand out of here after the warm up. Yeah, right. Nah, I know you're pretty much always lefty forehand. I know your signature move. Oh, that, oh man, a little overturned. I thought that was perfect. Yeah, yeah it's up there, pin high, not too bad. Oh, absolutely. I will say I do the backhand like pumps because like I can like just it helps me like visualize the line for whatever reason. Oh, I agree. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're looking forward at it. Just imagine what the, I mean, it's going to do the same thing, right? Right. Tanner from a knee gives it a run. Yeah, definitely a good bid there. Will's going to have to split those trees, I imagine. <laughs> Did it stay? I think I heard the ground. <laughs> okay, I think he fell out there. Wow, what a start. First part of the morning, it's nice to get the birdie for sure. Like I said, it's not a hard or long hole. It's just, it's the first hole. And it's a tight tunnel and it's uphill and it's around the rocks and it's it's nice to get it. For you sure. Should, you should get it, but it's, it's nice Yeah, it's 234. It. It's like one of those holes I think you could throw probably any disc in your bag and like make it work Definitely. if you needed to. Yeah. I mean, the worst thing you can do on hole one is take a bogey. Yeah, par is fine, but you want yeah. the, you want the bird. I know you're saying though, first hole today. Yeah, the rest of the players in the tournament are going to be playing it at the end of their rounds, at least in the MPO division. And it's and it's one of the holes you check off as like I'm going to birdie that hole. It's like a must birdie, I would say. I don't like saying must birdies, but that one's like pfft, compared to the rest of the holes of this course. Yeah. Um, uh, what do we got? Hole two, okay. par three, two eighty eight. This is. Uh, very uphill for anyone that hasn't played here before. Uh, it looks like it's just right there in front of you, but it is, it's a, it's a pump. It's a full rip to get it there. Kind of precariously perched in the rocks too, on the side hill. If something's yeah, starting definitely. to, even though if you throw in a righty backhand and you start to hyzer out, you could hyzer out a hundred feet down the hill. For sure. Just the way that the disc is matching the hillside. We might actually see what happens to that 
Tanner here. I think the play is like a, a little bit of a flippier disc for a lot of guys if they're throwing backhand, just like highs your flip. That way you're not like getting as much fade out at Absolutely. the end. And it helps it ride up the hill as well. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Oh, Lance, that's kind of two in a row, a little, little cooked, overturned. <laughs> Typical Zephyr footing here. Right. Just granite everywhere. That should be fine for his par there. Tanner, maybe just outside the circle here. This is a pretty good spot, actually. I thought he was not this good when I saw his drive. I agree. I thought he was much further down the hill. Mm. Tough, but good. He landed in a little bowl of rocks. Not worried about the roll away at that point. This is a notorious green for the worst rollaways. Wow. Great birdie. Definitely a good one. Yeah, we only saw uh, five birdies on hole two in round one. So, I'm going to show you. It takes, you know, it takes a great drive to get up there and then also a good, pretty good putt usually. But so far, the card is doing uh, just fine. Couple birdies, couple pars. Yeah, getting it going here this morning. I brought a caddy every round. Why not, right? Well, I mean, if someone's willing to carry the bag, let them. Yeah, shout out to the whole, my buddy Steven. Never even seen disc golf played before, and here he is. But That's amazing. Here we go, Nate, hole three, taking the hyzer line, 312 feet uphill. Looks like it was a little inside and caught. There's two lines here. You, you can uh, play the line Will did here with like a, a hyzer flip, maybe like a flex up the middle, I prefer. Or... Um, yeah, that right side has like a pure hyzer. Yeah. And then there's kind of the like crazy like local route the hyzer flip forehand to that left side, but I I still don't really understand it, but I've seen a lot of people execute it, but I like you said, really up the middle or the right side I think are the two best options. Tanner showing you what the line is right there. That looked pretty good. Yeah, that was really nice. Lance, I know he's got all the power to get up there. That should have gotten pretty close to those rocks. Yeah, that looked like maybe pin high. Or are we in the B position? Okay, yeah, we're in the B position. So he's going to be at least up by the rocks. But Okay, yeah, you're right. You know, this B position is just so difficult. To oh, my gosh, did that go in? <laughs> no way. That was unbelievable. That would have been sweet. Oh, that would have been so cool. Another good run. Yeah, Lance from about 60. Is this where you're driving, Doug? Yeah. Wow. Or a chance, kind of, right there. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, that's nice to be able to be putting from your drive. That was Tanner's there. So he was past the, the short pin, which is quite the feat on this hole. Yeah. Gosh, he throws so far. But yeah, I mean, if you ask me, par... On hole three in the B position is great. You're doing awesome. <laughs> right, for sure. And I would think that the rest of the uh, the rest of the field would agree. Shout out to Jed Berger, the only birdie on the day. Jed, what a monster. But everybody else did pretty good. Other than that, it was all pars in one bogue, so not bad. Um, there's, so, there's a lot of trees in the way on that one, so walk away with your three, you're doing just fine. Uh, hole four, par three, 363. This is an interesting one. It's uh, down over the ravine and then back up the hill. And Yeah, we're in the A position today, uh, which is a much more attackable. For sure, uh, yeah. Score of open position. The B position is going to be way up the hill to the right and a lot more difficult to reach. This one, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a hand good handful of birdies today. For sure. Keep an eye on this one. Oh, no. I hate that you know everything about your rounds. So. I forgot about this, yes. Because <laughs> I know nothing. I did, I wasn't able to play the tournament. I had surgery on my shoulder, so. Uh, 
I'm excited. To, you know, I'm excited to see all the homies play. But for sure, yeah, it's it's hard when you're the one on the card and you have to see your mistakes. Yeah, you live, you learn, right? Not yeah. too bad. Plant, the, nice shot. Yeah, right above the basket. Game. Now I was at this live for a while. I'll be honest. Like I was like, I have never thrown a disc from over here. I think I went with a buzz there. Kind of turned it over. Kind of got a look. But got you up there pretty nice. Not too bad. I really like Lance's tee shot. I don't want to like glance over that. Like that's, if you ask me, that's exactly how you play the shot. It's like a flex forehand over stable, stick it into the hillside. Oh no. Where did that tree come from? And then this green is just, this green is so hard to run anything coming at it from the right side. I mean, down the hill, you're fine because you just hope to not hit the cage and roll, but coming from the right, even where Lance is at, yeah, any little mistake, and he's all the way down the hill. Great birdie. Nice bird for sure. We get the round rolling. Just got a little clean up here. My tree got between me and the basket. No matter how close you are to the basket, you still got to have to have a bush in your groin. Yeah, right. Welcome to Zephyr. If you ever play a tournament here at this course, if you want to practice, just like, just put from your chest, like, uh, <laughs> like put from your neck. Get ready to be neck deep in some manzanita. Yeah, absolutely. Just watch a lot of Matty O. Yeah. Turbo putts are also handy, actually. I don't have one, but they're out there. Will cleaning up his par here. Tanner asking me if he wanted to battle putt. <laughs> I like the battle putt challenge in the tournament. Yeah. This had to be a pretty fun card. Yeah, for sure. It's just, it just kind of felt like a normal normal day at Zephyr just because, you know, you run into a lot of these guys at the local doubles tournaments or club tournaments or whatever. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hole five. Or three, 300. We go in A position right now? Correct. Okay. Again, the easier of the two positions on the whole. Um, yeah, the, the B position is just so dang hard. Um, I would say the preferred route for this one is if you've got the forehand, the forehand up that left side, it can get you pretty... Yeah, I mean, a jump putt away, if not closer. For sure. Shoot, uh, what was that last year? James Brightdom aced it lefty. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, like, this pin position is definitely the one that's, like... I mean, Nate threw the backhand line. If you have, like, a massive backhand hyzer, then, like, it's probably actually a pretty nice play. Yeah. Um, I can't get up and over there with my shot. But... Oh, so you're going to flex Carl up here? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen you do this before. I've actually seen you get dang close with that shot. Yeah, there's there's a there's a lane. Absolutely. I've actually seen a lot of guys go with the like the righty backhand turnover up that left gap to try to push it even closer to the basket. So what an up shot. Yeah. Great layup. Will opting for this lefty forehand, kind of interesting play from that distance. Uh, he just, I guess, he just felt comfortable with the. I mean, the I, amount of touch that shot needed. I know for me, sometimes when I get to Zephyr and I'm at those trees that he was at, that distance is just far enough out of my like comfortable jump putt range that I'm like, I could just toss a soft forehand up there rather than putt it and just guarantee my paw rather than shank a putt and yeah then hate yourself <laughs> yeah fair enough you know easy par for him and you know no no harm there I and mean, this is kind of like well some people probably went on fire and you know lit up the front but it's kind of common to just see like maybe a birdie on one and then par of like two through six like not it doesn't i don't think it hurts your round at all I think once you get to seven, moving forward from there, you want to see a lot of birdies. But, yeah, see, these guys are getting a lot of pars. And, oh, look at that. Premium disc golf shop, guys. South Lake Tahoe. 
South by Tao's number one premier disc golf store. This is where we're actually recording from, so come check us out. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. Throwing net, tech disc, you name it. Oh, yeah. Hole six says 315, but it is a monster pull to get up there. Did that touch that tree? Or I think so, yeah. yeah it looks like it slowed down pretty good. Lance going with maybe a forehand up the left side. This can be a really sweet play. Right, we just got a little stable on him. Ooh, come on, Nate. Nate can get it there. That may have caught something at the end, but either way, I mean, I think he's, I think he's putting. Will keeping that nice and high. Looks like he's going to be getting around those trees. That looks like a really good shot, unless he's buried in one of those neck deep bushes. But is it stable enough, Dan? It looks like. Oh, it got caught. Didn't quite love the way that came out of my hand. A little too. Oh, yeah, much flex. Need to be more direct. So, yeah, so Tanner did hit early. Lance caught a little early. Anything up here, though, is fine. There's a lot of bushes around the basket. If you don't get crazy aggressive and run it too hard, you're always going to stick within the circle pretty much because of the bushes around it. And, you know, obviously, if you air it too hard, it's on you, but pretty easy green to lay up to. Right. Not many birdies this round, just two birdies, actually. It's just so uphill. It's so long and uphill. It's it's much further than 315 as far as the power. This is Will's drive. Good boy. Wow. I guess he's one of those two birdies. One of two. Incredible. Now, I feel like it's a bonus birdie, but a lot of people throw further than me. <laughs> so. Yeah, kind of like I was saying, we've got a two, a one, two, one, and even. You know, obviously, you had the birdie, the one bogey on four. But this is where we're going to hope to see a lot of these birdies start to stack up for the guys. You know, we're gonna yeah, for sure. I think the first six holes, you know, you want to get hole one. And then if you're maybe, like, even, you could still shoot a pretty hot round from here on out, I think. It's basically don't, don't beat yourself up if you're even at this point. Just... Get it together and start playing a better round because this sure. is where the opportunities come in. Yeah. Speaking of that hole seven, par three, 333, um, lefty backhand, righty forehand. Those are going to be preferred routes. I have a feeling we're going to see the lefty forehand up over the right side, which is a really cool shot. If you've got the righty backhand for it, it's a cool shot as well. But I definitely think that this righty forehand is. That's the main alleyway. That's yeah, the main it's right there, and it really shapes up. It's almost like guys, run every time. It flipped like a rock or something. Oh, turn one over through the gap. Sure. Yeah. Lance a little inside here. Doesn't love it. He'll have some work to do from there. Neat reaching Firebird and see if he can get one close. This looks pretty proper. I like the height and the width was good to start. I don't think he loved it. He may have caught that last limb. Oh, you did go with the turnover. I wasn't sure if you were running around the outside or not. Cut roll, maybe. I almost always throw the outside line, but on this day, I decided that I wanted to fire it up the middle. Just takes t takes the bogey out of play a little bit more. I'm excited to see where you landed. So you're not putting yet. <laughs> right, yeah. That's kind of a good sign. There we okay. go. Oh, yeah. This is in, in the circle, right? Yeah, for sure. 27 feet, no problem. No. Sorry, bud. Nate, yeah, this is close. This is his Firebird shot. Effectively a tap in birdie for him. Oh, yeah. You know, 15 feet. Okay, full disclaimer, guys. Dan did tell me he didn't play his best disc golf round one. <laughs> I I hadn't seen this. Sorry, bud. It's fine, yeah. All part of the sport. We all did <laughs> it. Part of it. I'd like to make them all. I'm excited for rounds two and three. I want to see 
the balance back. Or the back nine, in, in, you know, from here on out. But. Yeah, not too thrilled with that bogey there, but uh kind of shake it off on your little as goes game. disc off. Yeah, I know all these holes pretty well, so I'm still like thinking like I can I can birdie out. Like <laughs> I don't care. Like I'm just gonna make birdies. It's not like you're looking at this course going, Oh my gosh, and that was the last one. Right. They're all out there. You can do it. So Yeah, we still got forty five plus holes left. <laughs> yeah. Uh hole eight guys, two ninety seven uphill. You can see it right there, right in front of these guys. Um definitely one that I think everyone is Think an ace run like nice. that. <laughs> uh, I prefer the I prefer the forehand at it. I think it stabs right in the hillside nicely. But the backhand, there's there's nothing wrong with the backhand play. You can go wide of that tree or inside that tree. Um, wow, that was sick. That's a phenomenal shot. I've never really seen many people play the outside of that tree. The outside doesn't really make sense in my head, but Tanner shows you how it's done. That looked pretty nice. Lance getting one close with the forehand. I also play a right-to-left shot here. I would say you make this shot look easier than I feel like anyone else does. Maybe it's because you're lefty forehand and you're, you're, this is coming out further away from that tree than if you're the righty backhand. But mm -hmm. when I'm sitting on the tee box and I see that tree on the right, I'm like, no way. I'm hitting this thing for sure. And you hit, hit the line every time I've ever played it with you. So hats off. Cheers. Nice birdie from Lance. This is a green too, though. Like even if you cage it or any, if you oh. miss any kind of way, just those rocks right below it and the and the firm slope, like it's, you know, it's gonna you're gonna cost you a stroke if it gets up and rolls. So if it gets up and rolls, like it could easily, take, but out of doubt, take you two more shots just to get it up and in there because it can roll fifty feet down the hill, no problem. It's like one of those insult to injury, hits the rock and jumps. And <laughs> all of a sudden, you lost disc on the green. Oh, here we go. Hole nine. Yeah, look at that. What's that big blue thing back there? Dang. That's <laughs> uh, a mirage, actually. Mm. 246 downhill. This play here by Will is pretty popular, I would say. A lot of times, there's a lot of wind coming off the lake. Uh, so... You try to throw a hyzer, it just gets launched down the mountain, like, see you never. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you'll go find it on the next right. So it's it's definitely nice to keep the flight plate protected from the wind here with this forehand shot. Yeah, the, I mean, the predominant wind on top is the southwest. It comes straight at this hole. You know, it's... If the thumber is definitely a viable option. Thumber on the inside, yeah. I like it for my game. I actually slid past the basket. Oh, great putt. I was stoked that one hung on. Look at that. Back to back birds. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Let's go. Let him eat. Oh, nice putt. Yeah, great birdie lands. Oh, we may see a star frame, huh? Back to back star frames. Oh my gosh, I didn't even, I was talking and I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't realize it until I threw last on this hole. I was like, I guess we all birdie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Way to go, guys. Don't mess this up, Tanner. Good pot. That's going to wrap up uh, the front nine here. Oh, look at that view. Whoa, Jed. Six through nine, buddy. Ease up. I was telling people you don't need to score that many on the front. Yeah. That's fire. That's amazing. That's a great way to start your round. Um, I think everybody at this, honestly, at this point is still in it, but that is a fire start to it. We got a lot of really fun holes coming up, guys. Uh, please come back. Join us for the back nine. We will be right back with it. Thank you. Bye.